Greetings and welcome to City Skylines Deep Third, episode 38. In the previous episode, we built a. We, well, we played around with the roundabout and made it much more efficient. It actually does really, really well. However, in this episode, we're going to spend a little bit of time working with our new industrial area. It is having some traffic issues, as you would expect. It's City Skylines, it's mid game, mid to late game. And traffic problems are a thing. As you can see here, the vehicles, they do move, but they stop quite a bit. Aim going in and out. So, here is our problem. Now, I've been playing around a little bit off camera to figure out the best solutions, and yeah. One of the solutions here is these guys here, they're actually, what they're doing here is they're pausing a lot and changing lanes. So, if we put a restriction on here saying, actually, you know, you guys, you guys, you don't get to change lanes anymore. Stop it. That will actually just stop them straight outright stop them from changing lanes and does make them flow so much better. They can still change lanes, but up here or back here, and just not here at the junction itself. That's one. Second of all, every junction right now has traffic lights on it. It was just a trial to see if going up this road would be fine if it broke them up. It doesn't. It doesn't doesn't work at all. Not even not even the slightest. So let's start with the first improvement. Most of the problems are caused by cars or well, trucks going to go up the road and down the road. So if this lot here coming down are being stopped by these trucks coming up. And these are even worse because these guys just they can't exit because so many cars coming up and some going down, they just can't get out. And they're being stopped here by so it's just a mess. So first thing we're gonna do is cause absolute chaos. Traffic lights go away, 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 and traffic lights go away. There we go, that's the first one done. That will sort of help some of the flow, but it causes so much more hassle, as you're probably aware by now. Right. Now, the biggest solution here is actually stop these vehicles coming out into this road, because they're going to cross traffic. If we stop with all these inward roads, and only the end one, an outbound road, that actually seems to work quite well. So, what we're going to do here is at this point here, make this a three-lane exit, so they can go left or right, and there's a reason behind that later, but give me a three-lane exit road. Upgrade. There, going outbound. Thank you. Uh, because this will say one left, one right, and one dual, which I'll get rid of that dual in a bit and say just double left. That will help you guys out. <clears throat> Next thing up, the backbone here. We should change these to be two lanes going forward, feed this, and one lane coming back so they can actually back travel if they want to. There we go, the right round. We do not. I hate it when you put it down, it goes the wrong way. So, ah, no. There we go, two lanes that way, one lane this way, all the way down to the end, good. And then here at the last piece, dip, and you're that way. I wish I would remember the way compared to the others. And then here, this entire backbone here, which is the sort of backbone of the, of the industrial area, that will have the same two lane, one way, all the way up it. Uh, starting from there. Boop, boop, boop. And I'll make sure they're flipped in the right direction. When we uh, get to it, boop, there we go, right. Are they in the right direction? They are indeed all the right direction. Hey, isn't that good? Right, so the thing about these is that they will help the vehicle travel up this line and get to here. And then we get to this end of one, they can turn or go straight. It works quite well. And I think we might put some um, lane restrictions in place to stop them changing lanes at this end piece, because I feel that they might end up doing something like that. So you to there, and you can go to there, there, or there. There you go, that'll uh, just make sure they go where we want them to go. That gives them an outbound po point right here, and it, although it has traffic lights, I want to leave these traffic lights in place. These got put back in place when I put the uh, three lane out. In fact, let's solve a problem here. It's not a problem, it's just a thing we don't want you turning right. And we are, we'll put restriction. Ooh, actually. Why not? You can actually, you can turn left as well. That lane can be a dual lane. So we'll do you to there, you to there. You to there and to there. So that will actually get you guys able to go no lane changes basically at the junction. And here comes the first vehicles to use it. Look at that, eh? Perfect. Now, one of the key things here would be these vehicles turning coming out of the front are not a problem because they come up here and they're, they're, not, they're not crossing lanes. So that's that saves a lot of hassle. These, however, these are crossing lanes. So let's stop you guys doing that by very simply setting a one way one way. One way, one lane road pointing inwards on these lanes here. So what basically happens is these trucks come up, they can go up there, but they can't come back down again. So it forces all trucks in this sector to come out of this the piece of road here. 
Now the hope is that will solve a lot of the problems. Now from testing, it does seem to do quite well. I mean, it puts a lot of vehicles up here, but by having these feeding roads as dirt roads, it slows these down, allows this road to clear down pretty easily. This road comes down here. Traffic lights allows them to enter pretty quickly and pretty efficiently, so hopefully that will will show itself pretty soon. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's doing quite well. Now, one thing we want to try and stop, if we can, is these is turning in here, because they're going to cross lanes again. So the best way to do that is, and it's the reason why these have a traffic light, is actually at the end here, have a road going around here, and have, again, have a backbone running down here that will do it. It's really hard to tell at night, and I, I tried to turn the day and night cycle off for construction purposes, like it was suggested a while ago, but and it just sets it. It kind of sits at night forever. Then it never goes to day, and I always forget to do it before it goes to night day. So we have to put up with it. That's all. But make sure we can get it right. Let's get this zoned right. So this back one here wants to be a three lane that way, one lane this way, same as the other one. Just because it looks prettier and it makes more sense, uh, and it wants to be up to that road there. So boop. And we'll go back and check these are facing the right way in a moment because it could very easily be the wrong way around. It is the wrong way around. There we go. I just want to be able to get trucks down this back road here as fast as they can. There we go. Right. Now we haven't stopped them doing that piece yet, but here uh, we can't upgrade that one because the hill's too high. Okay. Um, pause. Demolish. Replace the road with one of these roads. I tend to find that you can actually build a new road much easier than you can upgrade some of them. There we go. Uh, you can say road, nothing's changed there. And then this piece of road here, we'll come and deal with you in a minute. That, hip, that hump on the road is a little OP, let's put it that way, and needs sorting. I have something else I want to do as well when daytime falls, so we'll be looking into that. But in the meantime, let's get this piece of road here done. So give me. This is going to be a two lane. One way road, and its job is just going to come up here and get to that piece there. So give me a straight piece, go up there, to actually just to about there to get started, and then give me a bendy bit. And the bendy bit, I will actually, whoop, camera, thank you, line up with where we want to be, even though it is in the middle of the ocean, and do it to there, and it should give us a bridge. Excellent. And we can't do anything about that piece just yet, but we will deal with that pretty shortly. Now we've got two lanes in, perfect, and we have turn lanes there and turn lanes there and everything appears to be building itself. Now, let's stop these guys coming in here. Give them outbounds only, one way, one lane, outbound only. No, actually they can have two lane. Because they can turn left or right, it won't bother us if they're turning left or right here because they do uh, do their thing. They're going to get rid of those traffic lights again as well, I did see them put them back in again just a second. And then the end one, there we go, traffic lights go away, boop. And boop, and boop, there we go. I want to keep the one at the end because it's the one that does actually have cross traffic. Now we should see a whole load of trucks coming down here and causing problems and stuff. Uh, actually, we have lane changing going on as well quite a lot of the time, and that does slow down stuff as we found earlier. So let's actually put a few lane change restrictions in place. Coming this way, you cannot change lanes. Don't really need to do this, but I feel it's a nicer one just to whoop. Stop them from uh, doing something. And here, let's block them there as well. I want to end up being the first one. But what we can do is put a restriction on here. Due to I can see the amount of traffic going to be a problem. If you're not able to go forward or lane only, that will mean you turn that way, and that will actually help a lot. Yep, there we go. Right, that should help. And we should start seeing these bottle up and then clear down pretty quickly thanks to the traffic lights. And just wait for the lights. But we have a fire over here that is burning quite badly. And the fire truck is there. So yeah, that's worked quite well. The trucks get a place and come down. Shouldn't be too big an issue. And they clear down pretty quickly. Look at that. Hey, isn't that good? And it's also daytime. So we're going to just wait for a second to show this off. And then we're going to pause and go through the little bit we're going to do. Because one of the things we're going to do is you see, first of all, flooding here. That's just, that is a problem, and it's a problem because this road dips down too much. And part of that is because of this, and part of it's something else I want to deal with. I want to build something new and show you off. I know today was supposed to be the commercial section, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, this is better. Right, and there you go, that seems to be working fine there. Okay, pause, because this is going to annoy a few of the car drivers. Remove that piece of road we just put in. Remove that piece of road there. And that. Now, the reason for that 
is actually we need to lower whoop, lower this hill. This hill's so high. If I tried to put the road through there with the three lanes, it would actually make a tunnel and then that road can't connect. So we just need to lower that road the slightest little bit. Uh, well, by slightest, I mean probably. I mean, the tunnel's nice. I like the tunnel. The tunnel was good. The problem with the tunnel was, I'd say, the this road here can't connect from the side, so it just causes a bit of an issue. There we go. Uh, oh, nope. Boom, last time yet. Put the road back in first. Uh, give me the three lane road. And we'll go. For now. Ooh, wrong one. Uh, give me the two lane road. Yes, two lane road from here. Bendy. Um, remove you. Bendy road. And we'll put you. Bendy road from. There. Up to here. And then. Boom. And then from there, you switch to the bigger road. And you should be straight line now anyway, so not an issue. To there. Boom, and you are all bridge right now. That probably will get removed in a moment or two when we do something else. Because, unfortunately, you can't do that. Yes. You can't do that entirely because... We'll get rid of that though. <clears throat> that dirt road can't connect up to a bridge. So dirt road, uh, you're going to come up to here. And your dirt road... To there. Oh, dirt the road can be a bridge. I didn't know dirt roads could have a bridge. Well, Woodland, so we knew every day, don't we? In that case, give me a straight line road from there to there. And from there to there. And then we'll create the directions in a moment. I believe they are wrong. And then give me a two lane, one way curved road. From there. To there. Boom. Uh, it's two lane, right? Uh, yes, two lane, good. Uh, actually, it should be a three lane because of the wanting to turn down. You know what? Let's let's make it a three lane. There is a pretty decent three lane in here. It doesn't. It's not a two way road, so it's not a problem. There you go. And I'll go to there. Go to there. Yeah, you both the right way. You are indeed the wrong way. I thought you might have been. Uh, flip that one and that one. And you are good. You are good. And okay. I mean, you good. Yes, all of them are good. On pause, and the vehicle should start being able to drive again. There we go. That should actually help reduce a lot of the congestion that we've been having in this uh, system. But there we go. They're, they're going to complain here due to this road type being put on top of them. Can we replace the uh, markers? We can. Good. Uh, give me the blanket tool. It's the better tool of this one. There we go. They are done. And they should be able to put their houses back in place. Their businesses back in place. I'll leave that off for now, I'll probably leave it off forever actually. And there we go. They should be able to do quite well. Now, one of the other things that we'll build, and I kind of kill is I want to stop the flooding on these roads and also help stop the flooding down here. I say we start looking at putting it we have a fire here I don't know about how. Oh. Well, okay then. We can pull some of that is it I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but is it is it Quay or K or Q or Um This stuff here. Quay. Put some of this in place. It looks really nice when it's done. I was surprised by how nice it looked when the test run I did. So we'll leave those guys to process that. And we'll build some of this down this, down this river bank. And show you how it looks. And we'll actually... I was going to leave it running, but I don't want night time to fall to ruin the view. So I'm going to leave it paused for a moment. Now, if I put it there, it doesn't like doing that too high up. Can I put it from here up to there? We'll it to there. Boom. There we go. And it does have that little gap there, which is kind of annoying. Mm. It doesn't really have a way of getting it out of the connection. You go away a minute. But it does create a very nice solid edge, you see. Now, I want to put that there, but that, that is... Whoa, that goes way too high. I want to get it right up to the dam. I'd love to get it to the dam itself, but I don't think there's a way of doing it. Uh, let's not complain about the dam itself being in the way. Uh, oh, that one might do it. That one might do it. Okay, so put that to there. How close to the dam did we get? We got quite close. I'll accept that. That unfortunately, I haven't found a way to fill that in yet. Okay, so what we do with this is we use a bendy one because it looks much nicer, and we tell it to go from there. Oh, we don't want to go too high. I want to make sure it stays near the water. So we bring it down to. Ooh, come bring the you. You have less snapping problems. Bring you to there. 
And then you to there. And you see already getting this nice sm smooth edge on it. Now we're going to cut a power cable or two. That's fine. Can we get under the rail bridge? We can get under the rail bridge. Ooh. And... Now I'm wondering here if it's better to have the curved edges or a straight edge. And I'm thinking about saving the curved edge. You know me, I like the curved edge. And um, that might be a bit too curved though. Um... Okay, yeah, it's a bit too curved there, but that should actually go nicely in here. And can we get under the bridge? Mm, okay, maybe we can't go underneath this bridge just yet. But if can we can get under, can we go lower on the waterfront? We can go lower, right? Okay, so we can go under there if we go lower. We'll have to, we have to demolish the bridge and rebuild it. That is a possibility. Yes. Um, remove that, and we'll just have a nice, nicer slope when we come to it. But from there, under the bridge, is not okay, it's a bit too high. I want to go under if we can. Now, we might not be able to, but we do know that. So, don't worry if we can't. We'll go, ooh, we can! Excellent. Now, take from there to there, and then we'll cut that good. And then here, we'll try and swing that way a bit. And we'll come around there. There we go, and then bring this up here. Yeah, can we go? Now, if we can get lower down to the water level, it would be nicer. But it's not always possible. Uh, don't go too high. I don't want. No, no, see, that, that's that's too high. That's too high. Lower on the water. Lower. Okay, you can't go lower in the water. Okay. That is fine. Bring it to there. Round to here. Just try to stay a little bit lower in the water bottle and go underneath that bridge if we can go under that bridge. If, we might not be able to. There is a point when you just can't go any, any further. But looking at you down like this here. Shoreline required. It just snapped quite high up, unfortunately. Um, can I get down here? And then maybe we'll get rid of that piece and come back again. Oop, that's too low. Under the bridge? Nope. Okay. Now, I want to get to here if I can, you see, just to pass the bridge itself. Let's try there. It seems quite high as well. Yeah, well, that's way too high. How about down here? I thought it dropped. I thought. Thank you, Water Save. How about down here? Mm, still too tall. Okay, how about there? Actually, maybe make it come back a bit. Maybe come back a bit. It can go under. Oop, I saw for a second then. I think there's a concrete pillar in the way. You can go to about there, but that's obviously under the bridge. And you know what? I'm not entirely. I'm unhappy with being underneath the bridge and stopping because uh, it has to stop somewhere. If it stops where it's kind of out of sight, I don't have a major issue with that. Okay, so that, look at that. That looks much nicer as an edge than that does. Eh? Eh? Yeah! Now, let's do the other side. It might require a road removal, but let's do the other side and see how it looks in its own right, in its entirety. Can you come this way? Your height is too high. Well, can you come down from here? Height is too high and getting in the way of that. How about up here, just for stupidity? Okay, that's not too high, apparently. Let's start it here and go the other direction. How close to the dam can we get? There, apparently. Well, it's not ideal. It does have its weird sort of dead start at the dam. Can we get close by starting at the dam's end? We can. Okay, that's a bit too high. How about down here? Nope. How about... Okay, there's going to be the thing then, is it? Boom. Okay, it's a little bit high on the uh, start, but yeah, we can accept that for now. And then go this way. And then here's where we to get a bit more complicated because... We're going to get around this road and we're just going to need to do this. I am aware I literally just built the road. But it is something I, I am aware that I had to do, and I wanted to make sure the road was built first so you guys understood why we're building the road there. Uh, shoreline required, so we need to get a bit further up here, so move that. Put you to there. Height too high, height too high. Boom! Height not too high. And then bring you that way. And stop for a moment and put the road back in place before we forget about it. It's a three lane one way to there. Uh, that's that one, yes. And bendy road, and. Can you get to that? Boom! You can. And then that one's a dirt road. Boop! There you go. And we'll turn that one into a three lane. 
with two directions just to allow for the cast coming back to there if they need to come back to that road. There we go. That's actually that is the reason I paused it for the most right. Right, let's continue with the quay and you. Oh no, keep it going straight with it. It's current flow. We're gonna try and uh, remove a little bit of this wiggliness as we as we go if we can. If we got under that. Oh, we can get under that. I want to show if we get under there. Right, this is going to require a little wiggle in there, and then a little wiggle out there, and then to there. If we can try and straighten it out, we will do. Now, we can't get under there because concrete bunker thing is most likely going to be... Yeah, let's tear this bridge down. There we go. Just get this through here, and then we'll put the bridge back in place. No issues there. Just boom. Right, bridge, bridge, bridge. It's a uh, motorway, so that's nice and easy to replace as well. Motorway with non raised sides. One direction being that way. Oh, right. You won't let me build over that, will you? Um, well, because you're trying to put. A, what, why? 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 Why would you. Why? Why? Why is that even a thing? Oh. Okay, can I go from there? Oh, actually you're below ground, aren't you? There you go. Why it was below ground, I don't know. Well, it thinks that piece is below ground about. Look at it. Yeah, okay, you I think you're below ground, don't you? Well, can I build from there across here, or will you complain at me for going across that? You complain for that, okay. Um We might have to put a little elevation on the bridge here, but I don't really want to. This was kind of good beforehand. Uh, we could remove this section with the power cable and we'll put it back in in a moment. Build the bridge back up and then once we've got the bridge back up we can try and go through this area without the ring. Okay. Whoop. Build you to there so you have the curve and build you this way so you have the same kind of curve. That doesn't look even remotely correct. Try that again this time with about 70% less stupidity on it. Okay, well I did say 70% less, not, you know, 10% less, but okay. Let's see if we can get through there with the stuff. Hope you guys are enjoying this. This is kind of a fiddly thing that I'm kind of enjoying trying to do. And it's going to hopefully produce something that looks pretty as well for the city. Right, put it down, nope, down there. Boom. And then to that, I'll deal with the kink in a moment. And then you just go there. Is there a kink in it? There's a slight kink in it, and it's, you know, it's annoying me already. Boom. And... So we can go we can go there to there. Boom, kink removed. Now, you. Put you there to there. Too high. That bridge on the far side might just be, yeah, that bridge is actually lower, isn't it? Oh, I hate you, bridge. Can we do this with you being a little bit smarter, Bridge, and not being like an ass about it? Can we have you snap down there? Go away. We were trying to snap to the road. I think that's actually what was causing a bit of an issue. You to there. Okay, so if we put you at a slight elevation, you won't be a complete enough ass about it. But if we do it the other way, you will. Okay. Well, actually, a solution potentially. Go that way. Oop. Oh, I can't see the angle. There to there. <clears throat> and then you don't. You know, hey, see, look at that. Look at that, eh? Perfect. Just need to flip that road around. Boop, boop. There we go. Now we can put the quay back in place. Quay. Um, you. Can we go. Let's we'll start from here first. Get this underground one done. Under bridge one done first. Boop. Boop. Done. Now you need to do there. Perfect. And then, ooh, we'll swing this out this way. Oh, oh, swing that way. We can go right to the coastline. Boom. Look at that. Nah. A little less nice there. Maybe, 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 maybe we don't do it like that. Maybe we try and have it a little less stupid. Boom. Yes. Okay, so I am going to go this as far as I can with this, so... Bring that to there. To there. Hopefully, yes, we can under the bridge. Yes. Nice long stretches of straight... Nice 
smooth curves on the waterfront. Oh, and under the bridge. Oh, under the bridge with no problem at all there. Thank you, Bridgie. And you will actually bring you right to here. <coughs> Which means we're straight. Well, no, I will actually bend it around. Create like a seawall end piece. Yeah. Create like a seawall end piece, doesn't it, for the, for the city. There we go. Now, this island probably wants something as well. On the island? Probably should do it on the island. Height too high. Whoa. Okay. Let's try this. If we start it here, going across. Shoreline required. Okay. All right. Yeah, that way. Well, like, it'd be great if you just put like a bend on there like that. Be, that would be perfect. Height too high, apparently, though. So, start it really low down. Height too high, height too high, height. That's in the water. Come on, that can't be too high. Now you're just being picky about stuff. Maybe this one doesn't get it. Maybe the the island itself doesn't end up with a, a way system. Or maybe it does, we just don't know yet. I don't want to destroy any of the housing that's already in place. And then, don't want to go too high up there, so we'll bring you that way. And then it's, it's, now it's complaining about it being too high because there's a mountain there. Truthfully speaking, once it hits that mountain edge, it doesn't really need the cave. It's just so much nicer having it. Oh, 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 Boom. I'm happy with that. If I can, will you, will you let me swing this around the far side here? No, you will not. Well, isn't that poop? Fine for you. Oh, we'll, we'll see what we can do here. I'm trying to, try to restrict the amount of time this plane ends up underwater. So, oh, I don't want to kink in that. Thank you. Bring you to there. This bridge is going to be a problem, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm going to put it to the, to the bridge. Ooh! I know that went stupid last second, but we did do one thing. It pointed out we can get under there. So, hopefully. Yes! Out this way. Power cables have been severed all over the place. We're going to have to deal with that. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Auto save. Thank you, auto save. Uh, bring it back to about there. Swing it around here. We should do this all the way around the outside. It's going to take out a few buildings as it goes around. And it's kind of underwater as well, which probably doesn't help it that much. But there we go. Okay. And then, I wish I had a time running to earn money doing this, but it's just one of the things where we probably can't do that, so... That's fine. Height too high? No, it's not. Bring you to there. We'll work on the bridge side in a bit. Put this side that way. Boom. This looks really nice as a colouring on it. That straight edge? I, I never thought about building these things. I would never even considered them. Right, put you... There, and then round this way. Ooh. Already looking really nice. It's going gonna, it's gonna to demolish a few houses because of this. Um, I don't know how it's going to work with the flooding, because there's definitely flooding around here. Shoreline required. Where's the shoreline then? Surely it's a lot closer to the, uh, to the house than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. Probably, um, I'm just going to say it, probably not the best. Piece, but actually, you know, it's like a moth. You jetty, doesn't it? <laughs> if you can go underwater like that as well. So, I think I put you to there because you can play about the shoreline required. I can't bring you to there. Boom. So, you go like that. I do wish it would be a little less yuck. Shoreline, 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 shoreline. Welcome to this direction. Whoa, you actually like that? I'm not so sure that's good. Ooh, actually, you corrected yourself. <gasps> could we fit, could we fit, fiddle this in? Could we fiddle this? Ooh, we might be able to fiddle this in. Okay. Is there any connection point here you can have? Come on. Don't be like that. Don't be, don't be weird. Just do it. No. And there. No, I'm actually near the actual coast. All right, so I think that's about as close as we get them. 
And actually, they end up underwater. I have no real issue with them being underwater there. And then hopefully, let's see what we can do here. We may or may not be able to do something here. Are you down? Can you come down? Down. Could you get lower in the water, please? It is actually quite a, la a low um, piece of water. That's the problem. To there. And then try a bit more. Come on. You know you want to. High to high, shoreline required. If I put you there like that and did that, you'd be kind of... Yay! Put you there to there. Yes! Finally! Oh, I wasn't thinking that would ever happen. It connected. Okay, so Bram's Island is almost entirely surrounded. Only this part here where it goes underwater it doesn't actually get surrounded, but it's underwater so you can't see it, so I'm happy with that. The edge goes there. Can we get this edge around here a bit more? I'd like to bring it around to about here, if we can. But the bridge may be uh, just a no-go. So let's try that one little bit more. With that from here, we'll try and go around the bridge. Or under the bridge. Can we go out that way around the bridge? We can. Now we might have to modify you. There we go. <clears throat> Excellent. Now where should we take you to? Right back to where those houses are. Will be kind of a nice ending if we can. Um, okay, we don't go too far out. <clears throat> there we go. And what was that? So blue flash. That will do t to there, but I don't really like that piece. Ah, power cable. Don't really like that piece in there. Uh, you go away a minute, and if you can come this way. And I can swing you in, like that. Just a curve in there to sort of say, hey, we're done now. Would be great. Boom, there we go. Nice rounded edge piece. So, well, yeah, perfect. Right, get some power cable back in place. We did destroy a few power cables, so fair game to it. Uh, you're the backup power cable. Boom. Your primary cable, I believe, there. Can you snap to that? That'd be great. Thank you. There. Ooh, can you get rid of that? No, 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 no. See what you did there? That was stupid. You up there and then go down, 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 down. Boom. Uh, your cable got severed because we were going underneath the bridge. So under the bridge we go. Under the bridge we go. That's not under the bridge. We, we actually had a, we, we actually had it running under the bridge, if you remember. I was really happy about that before. It was, it was like, yay, we're under the bridge. No one will know. And apparently they found out and now they don't let us do it. I can't go lower than that. It must be a tidal thing. Fine. Well, in that case, we have to go across the road here. And, uh, and deal with that. But that's a shame. We had a kind of nice secret underground hidden power cable. And you know what? We don't need that power cable. There we go. We don't need that one at all because we have one there, one here, which we're going to put back in place, and this one here. And they have interconnecting sections there, so they should be fine. Cable, cable. And here we connect that one. That one needs demolishing. We connect that one with that one. So that one, boom, and then there was a, yeah, we had a few cables on the route, didn't we? You to you, uh, you to you, that is a unusually uh, problematic bit area. And then there, and that is connected still there, and you know what, we should probably put a power cable here just to kind of connect those up permanently. There we go, and we can... Do that. And look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely gorgeous? Straight edges all the way down. Well, it's not straight, but clean edges all the way down. Yeah, I like that. That looks really nice. Yes. You probably don't need to be there anymore. You're just a odd bit of power cable in there. And then put the link. Let's see how it. Link you to you. There you go. 
All right, that is good. It's been a bit longer than expected to do all this, but I'm kind of happy. With it. I like the look of this. This looks really nice. The water flow. Look at that water flow. If it wasn't for the pollution, it'd be good. Yeah, the water's flowing nice around here. We have to see what we can do here. Maybe raise the land a bit and then get them up. But so yeah, that. What is that icon? No, no, no. The one behind. What is, what is that icon? I don't recognise that one. Ready for rebuilding. Oh, that's the emergency building services are coming out. Okay, yes. Makes sense. Let me know what you think of the uh, the, the, K, the K, 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 I don't even know how, how to pronounce it. And also the new road layout here. Because this road layout is working really well. And this water, look at that. It goes around there. Oh, you know what we could put up here? Um, fire. Boom. Fire tower. <laughs> Well, because the game doesn't really have a lighthouse, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of that. It's been a little bit of a long episode getting that down there, but it's, I think it's really nice and it, it's kind of cute and it's, it's just something stupid. Anyway, thank you for watching the episode and let me know what you think. Until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>